Hi, welcome to story time for the week of November 30th. I'm going to read some goat stories to you and then explain a goat craft. If you'd like the craft kit to make the goat yourself, you can pick it up at the library while supplies last. If you have any questions, you can give us a call at 973-538-6161 and ask for the children's department. Our first story is the three Billy Goats Fluff. Trip trap, trip trap. How was he supposed to sleep? Mr. Troll buried his head in his pillow and groaned. He looked back at the newspaper advertisement. Troll Paradise. Fine riverside apartment with slimy toads and running beetle juice. Bargain. Great pad for sale. How could he have fallen for it? What the advertisement had not said. Noisy. Underneath the only bridge from the Rocky Mountain to the lush green field. A room with a trashy view. On the mountain next to Mr. Troll's bridge lived three billy goats fluff. They loved to eat the lush green grass in the field by the bridge. It made their fleece extra fluffy, important for mother goat's knitting business. The three billy goats fluff crossed the bridge twice a day, but this morning Mr. Troll had a surprise for them. He put up a sign. No trip trapping over my bridge. Trip trappers will be eaten. Mr. Troll. Little Billy Goat Fluff had not yet learned to read, so he set off as usual. He just put one hoof on the bridge when Mr. Troll leapt out. I'm a troll with a very sore head. Stop trip trapping over my bed. When I'm tired and feeling blue, there's nothing quite like Little Goat Stew. Little Billy Goat was very scared and scampered back to Mother Goat. Next came Middle Sized Billy Goat Fluff. His hooves were louder than Little Billy Goat's. Mr. Troll leapt out again. I'm a troll in a very bad mood. Waking me up is terribly rude. Middle Sized Goat makes a lovely roast or tasty pate on pawn my toast. Middle-sized Billy Goat raced back to Big Billy Goat. They both were too scared to cross the bridge. We're telling our mom on you, they shouted. Mother Goat listened to her Billy Goats and she thought about Mr. Troll. She knew what it was like to live without sleep. Little Billy Goat woke her up every night. That night, as she sat knitting booties from the finest billy goat fluff, Miss Mother Goat had an idea. The next day, Mr. Troll was waiting for them. <coughs> I'm a troll who's really cross. It's time to show you I'm the boss. When I'm tired, I need to eat goats and fries, my favorite treat. Billy Goat trembled as he handed Mr. Troll a present and, no, and, and a note from Miss Mother Goat. If you could hear us trip trapping by, then you can make three Billy Goat pie. But if we're quiet as tiny mice, you must stop being grumpy and start being nice. Little Billy Goat Fluff was the first to try out Mother Goat's plan. He shakily put on the hand-knit booties. They were so fluffy. Bright yellow, his favorite color. Slowly, he stepped onto the bridge. Mr. Troll listened from his bedroom. Nothing? <gasps> Nothing! Middle-sized Billy Goat Fluff was next. His hooves were quaking as he put on four exceedingly fluffy booties. Pink! Middle-sized Billy Goat was a real softy. Carefully, he stepped onto the bridge. Mr. Troll had his ear pressed to the roof. He couldn't hear a thing. Finally, it was Big Billy Goat's turn. Booties had, <clears throat> his booties had taken most of the night to, to knit. With four huge pom-poms on his hooves, Big Billy Goat stepped onto the bridge. Mr. Troll strained his ears. Silence at last! How had they done it? 
Mr. Troll came out from under the bridge. He looked at the three billy goats fluff, happily munching the grass in the field. He looked at the present from Mother Goat. Then he opened it. Inside was the fluffiest earmuffs he had ever seen, wrapped inside one of Mother Goat's special blankets. Dear Mr. Troll, we are very sorry for waking you up. We hope this gift helps you have your best sleep ever. Love, Mother Goat, and the three Billy Goats fluff. That night, Mr. Troll drank a hot mug of Beetlejuice. He read his favorite bedtime story. Then he put on his big fluffy earmuffs and cuddled his soft green blanket. <clears throat> For the first time in his new house, he slept and slept. He dreamed of fluffy clouds, fluffy toads, fluffy beetle juice, and best of all, his new quiet friends. The Three Billy Goats Fluff Little Apple Goat Down on the farm, there lived a little goat. She was quite an ordinary goat, ordinary in every way. In every way, that is, except one. She had quite unusual eating habits. While, other, while most other goats are happy to chew on last week's leftovers or Wednesday's washing, little apple goat preferred apples and pears and cherries. Every autumn, Little Apple Goat spent happy days in the orchard waiting for a crunchy apple, a rosy pear, or a juicy cherry to fall. Flop! When evening came, Little Apple Goat would trot on home to her meadow, and on the way she'd send a shower of pits and seeds over the hedge. Flippity plip! Day after day, year after year, Little Apple Goat's pits and seeds flew over the hedge. One particular autumn day, a breeze began to blow. The breezy afternoon became a blustery evening, and the blustery evening became a stormy night. The animals were very scared indeed. They huddled close together inside the barn while the wind howled all night long. In the morning, Little Apple Goat rushed straight to the orchard. The storm had toppled every single tree. The orchard that Little Apple Goat loved so much was gone. All the animals were very sad when the farmer came to take the logs away. The farm just won't be the same without the orchard, they said. As autumn turned to winter, Little Apple Goat watched smoke curl from the farmhouse chimney. At least the logs will keep the farmer warm, she thought. <clears throat> At last, spring came. One day, Little Apple Goat noticed something bright and flowery, peeking over the top of the hedge. Blossoms! Hmm, she thought as she continued on her way. And then, one autumn, the blossoms were gone. Now fruit hung from the branches. Little Apple Goat could hardly believe it. The animals were so happy to have a new orchard. How did this happen? Who could have planted it, they wondered. But you know who, don't you? Plippity plip plop. Okay, this one is Let's Count Goats. Here we see a mountain goat frisking in the sun. Here we see a city goat going for a run. But can we count the seaside goats? I think there's only one. Here we see a drinking goat and here a goat is eating. But can we count the little goats lost and loudly bleeding. Here we see an airport goat looking for her cases. 
but can we count the pilot goats with goggles on their faces? Here we see a show-off goat playing on the bars. But can we count the rowdy goats careening round in cars? Here we see an overgoat, and this one's going under. But can we count the crossing goats terrified of thunder? Here we see a sandpit goat playing with his toys. But can we count the trumpet goats making all the noise? Here we see a summer goat with nothing left to mow. But can we count the winter goats huddled in the snow? Oh. Here we see a fireman goat climbing through the smoke. But can we count the rescued goats trying not to choke? Here we see a soccer goat roaring at the ref. But can we count the cheering goats who must be going deaf? Here we see the story goats and all their shiny eyes. Now, can you count their pricked up ears you can. I'm not surprised. And that's our goat stories. And this is our goat craft. So in your craft kit, you're going to get four skinny, skinny legs, one body, one tail, one head, one set of eyes, a muzzle, two horns, and the billy goats, um, what do we call that? The, the chin hair. And then you just glue it on the piece of paper and you have a very cute goat. I hope you enjoy making your goat. Bye-bye for now.